Welcome for all in the lecture number 5 of energy edit. Okay, in this lecture, uh, it may be too long, but we will discuss uh, in details many things. We will uh, uh, summarize the energy edit purposes and energy edit scope, and we will go beyond the energy edit processing which will start in the phase one uh, initial preparation and in this uh, phase uh, of energy edit process include uh, many steps and we will start with step one introductory meeting or kickoff meeting uh, and introductory meeting uh, discussion uh, and where introductory meeting can be held and the agreement on approach of energy edit uh, context and the requirement of uh, information and data and identify the key personnel uh, and the scheduling for site visit and uh, we, talk, we put uh, this question why key personnel are important and the key personnel and their roles and in step 4 uh, we explain about uh, preliminary analysis and uh, the plan of measurement okay now let us know what uh, are the energy edit purposes okay as we explained before that energy edit represent uh, as an examination of records documents processes uh, following the procedure in the facility and so on. Uh, why we do this? In order to determine whether uh, all these uh, processing or uh, activities are comply with the uh, requirement uh, that may be uh, outlined uh, as internally in the facility uh, or work process or according uh, to the rules or not or according to the regulation uh, it means that whether uh, it comply with the regulation with the contract or with the other documents so this is uh, energy this uh, principle or uh, concept now what are the main uh, energy edit purposes okay we can divide uh, the energy edit purposes into two parts. The first part uh, is the uh, compilance. What we mean by compilance? In this, uh, uh, in this direction, we uh, want to determine if the entity or the facility is comply complying with the requirement or not. If it is not in compliance, uh, there uh, may be uh, actions or plans in order to correct their actions to uh, that must be taken in order to bring uh, the facility into the compliance. The second purpose of uh, energy edit in order to remediation. Remediation include a correction of problems that we can found during uh, the process of energy editing, which includes actions or corrections, errors, changing policies, uh, training employees, and making changes uh, in system and making changes in their uh, daily behavior of, of uh, employees. Okay, uh, the second issue we will talk about the improvement improvement here means that determining the areas in order to improve the related to any aspects of operations that include improving customer services increasing the efficiency of the facility and reducing the energy cost and also increasing the profitability of uh, the, the production or the service in the facility. 
So these two uh, main purposes of energy editing. Now, let us know or talk about energy edit scope. Energy edit scope include different topics. The first one, uh, we must define the extent and the boundary of the edit. Where we are going uh, and ex uh, implementing site visit for specified facility or organization, we must uh, have uh, a limited boundary for the specified building, specified uh, equipment, specified devices uh, in, inside and outside uh, the uh, organization. Uh, also, we must uh, he, here uh, determine the type of uh, editing uh, that we want to perform. As we know, that there are three types of energy editing, as I explained before. Also, we must determine the functions of editing or, or the functions that we want to implement in specified facility. Also, we must uh, know the uh, construction of organization, how many units in specified organization. May, organization may be factory, and this factory include uh, too much uh, department. So, which one we want to uh, implement the editing the processes? Also, we must know the nature of activities and the processes inside the units. Uh, that we want to implement the energy editing and also we must know the period of activities that covered by the editing process also we must know the, complex, the complexity of business activity that we want to be analyzed also we must know the, if there is any risk associated with the business activity uh, all these parameters must be taken into consideration in the energy edit scope and also we must search uh, if there is a potential impact of, of non-compliance on organization's uh, ability to perform uh, its targets or its missions. So, the scope is very, very important. We must uh, focus on what will we uh, plan to implement during the energy editing and know all the information about the scope of energy edit as we as we see in this slide. Okay. Now we will uh, talk about the energy edit process. Energy edit process consists of uh, many uh, steps. These steps uh, uh, can uh, summarize in a uh, number of phases. Phase one uh, represents the initial preparation. In the initial preparation, uh, there is a step one which uh, called introductory meeting or uh, we called kickoff meeting. And this meeting have uh, limited purposes. The first purposes in order to introduce the uh, audit team for the uh, top management of the facility and also in this uh, meeting uh, there will be explanation of uh, the purpose of audit and also explanation of the scope of audit as I uh, explained before in the last slides and also in order to establish communication protocols and the target timelines and also uh, provide information and education for clients about the, their rules of uh, internal editing in their facility and also uh, inform uh, them about the value of well-conducted uh, uh, energy edit. All these uh, importance in order to make better impression with the client. This uh, this is uh, what will the, the purposes of uh, in an introductory meeting. Okay. 
Now, in the introductory meeting, there are many topics that must be discussed, such as uh, edit processes, uh, also uh, talking or, or uh, discussion the goals of the facility and what's uh, the facility priorities and also discuss is there any specific concerns thesis the facility and also uh, uh, demand the required data and the way of collection of the data collection and also uh, we uh, we must know what type of equipment or system that uh, will be tested and also test and promote energy management system for the buildings or for the facility and also uh, discussion uh, for benchmarking as absolute and relative performance of the building and uh, also uh, discussion the confirmation of energy edit score and also uh, identify the personnel uh, and edit the process the personnel from the facility that will be uh, included in the uh, energy editing process and also uh, request uh, additional information of <coughs> current energy use and request information of energy management systems and what's uh, the expected timeline or scheduling timeline for completion of energy editing and uh, it's preferable to uh, take a tool in the facility in order to make the energy editors to familiarize uh, with the equipment and with the processes uh, inside the facility that will be uh, implemented uh, or conducted the energy editing. Okay. Now, I put this question, where an introductory meeting of energy editing can be held? Another question, can kick off meeting of energy edit held in editor's facility? Of course, the answer about these two questions may be different according to the situation if the energy editors uh, have a suitable place, it's preferable to hold the uh, introductory meeting in his uh, facility uh, because, uh, and because it's a suitable uh, uh, environment and can uh, freely discuss the uh, edit process and reviewing uh, all relevant documents. If it's not possible, uh, the meeting can uh, be held uh, in the uh, organization or in the factory or in the uh, owner's facility. Okay, during kickoff meeting, all relevant stakeholders or shareholders must be present and included also representatives from uh, the edited facility uh, edit team, uh, other relevant parties such as consultants or engineers uh, from another or other uh, firms. <coughs> Why all of these persons uh, uh, must be uh, included in order to ensure that the energy edit will be performed in an uh, efficiently and uh, effectively uh, way. The second step of the uh, first phase uh, of initial preparation is the agreement on approach of energy edit context between the energy editors and the top management of the facility. In this agreement, the client uh, agree with the energy editors about the scope. This scope may be, uh, uh, include multi-site locations or specific significant energy using equipment or devices 
uh, or many departments or many processes and about the transport uh, process or about the buildings or uh, number of buildings also specify the, uh, the significant energy using equipment uh, which include uh, operational periods and uh, non-operational periods in order to identify base load uh, um, for a reduction uh, of opportunities okay and also the agreement about the level of, the level of analysis and about the boundaries of the facility in order to implement the energy editing okay also here uh, request specific information and data this information include a uh, liquid recapital uh, previous for three years and fuel bills and uh, also a meter registration system also for three years and gas data and uh, also if available access to online billing data and also for uh, monitoring system and uh, monitoring system software uh, available and also uh, the uh, energy editors may, uh, may be uh, demand from the owners to provide the then by copies of building layout, drawings, uh, piping system, instrumentations, uh, diagrams, and or drawings. Also, information about site plan, uh, set or equipment list, uh, processes, uh, diagram, and so on. Also, if the facility have uh, uh, production lines, uh, they need information about about the production outputs and also information about occupancy uh, weather data and if there is uh, historic energy performance information also will be required because all of this information is uh, very important in a uh, calculation of and uh, a calculation of energy processing uh, methodology okay in the step 3, identify key personnel uh, and scheduling for site visit. Here, the uh, key personnel must have uh, knowledge and experience, uh, and uh, this identified uh, by senior directors to sign off on edit as a part of management review and also uh, maybe included production personnel which uh, play a key role and determine how much energy is used uh, and all uh, of them may be including in the discussion of uh, uh, kickoff meeting and also including members of, energy, uh, of operation and maintenance team okay now, this is a question, why key personnel are very important uh, in the energy editing uh, process? Uh, key personnel from the facility are important in order to provide key documents and the data gathered and uh, provide significant details about operational routines recent uh, and planned changes in their facility uh, technical improvement and technical information and devices specification and also uh, editors should identify all key personnel uh, that they have uh, understanding their roles and know their responsibilities and uh, they must uh, be available uh, whenever energy editors uh, will be in the uh, visiting of their facility and also in order to ensure uh, sufficient sufficient time and resources are available to enable editor or editors to analyze their information and data 
and specify the main areas of energy consumption and determine operational practices and uh, operational behaviors and how can they change the behavior uh, of the personnel or the workers in the facility in the best way to achieve energy reduction and uh, save energy. And also maybe uh, organizational commitment, uh, very important, should include any subcontractors that uh, are working in the site and have a, a relation uh, uh, with the energy editing the processes. Okay. Uh, also, uh, we discuss uh, key personnel and their roles. Key personnel, of course, depend what type of energy editing will, we, uh, will, the, will the energy editors implement and what's the scope of it. Uh, typically, uh, 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 involved in energy editing, uh, the energy manager, which is present as a consultant, that uh, can make a coordinating and managing energy edit process uh, and must have experience in energy management uh, also uh, have a knowledge in engineering or, or environmental science uh, editors uh, may be engineers or specialists with expertise and have uh, certificate and trained in energy efficiency measures in order to make their assessment of the facility energy consumption and uh, they must be able to identify the opportunities for improvement of energy use and also uh, maybe include a facility manager manager uh, who will be responsible for overall management of building or plant and have uh, a play a role uh, as a, or a key role in ensuring that the implementation of energy editing will be implemented in correct way and uh, in order to uh, make uh, measures of energy saving. Okay. Also, uh, technician experts that specialized in various fields in the facility just such as lighting, heating, ventilating, air conditioning, uh, building automation, renewable energy, uh, technical expertise uh, in order to provide their uh, experience to editors and help the editors to identify the opportunities of energy savings. Uh, also, uh, operation and maintenance staff uh, in order to provide the information about the facility energy use and the maintenance plan, plan uh, and the practices uh, and uh, also can help uh, the energy editor uh, in energy saving opportunities. Also, maybe include uh, finance and accounting staff that can provide financial and budgeting expertise uh, for the energy editors to evaluate uh, the cost effectiveness of energy savings measure measures and in order to calculate the potential of savings. Or, uh, overall, key personnel uh, are very important to provide uh, and implement a comprehensive assessment of the facility uh, in the field of energy use and in order to identify the best opportunities for improvement and uh, also uh, in continuous uh, improvement and uh, following uh, and uh, implementing the required plan uh, in energy editing. Okay. In step four, uh, a preliminary analysis uh, that in this stage, uh, the energy editors need uh, a data that can be uh, provided from the client in order to carry a, a effective site work and in order to ident identify in a curious way the measurements uh, in, the in the field that must be need uh, to be taken 
and also uh, in order to help them in a preliminary uh, analysis level uh, of provided data a preliminary analysis is uh, very important uh, why in order to give a better understanding for uh, the energy editors and also for uh, the top management of the facility or organization uh, in order to determine the nature and the quantity of energy consumption and also uh, can help to identify major uh, energy uh, consuming equipment and temporary metering or spot metering and also in order to assess the process of uh, defining checklist and this will be explained later and also assist the process uh, of site visit uh, uh, agenda that will uh, uh, prepare by the energy editors okay now uh, uh, measurement planning and checking for instrument uh, portable metering instrument uh, uh, stores data for uh, uh, will be used uh, for number of days uh, such a, such this instrument will be used in buildings uh, for compressed air uh, for data loggers uh, and so on for, also for uh, ultrasonic uh, flow meters for buildings may be need for light meter uh, measuring tab thermal imaging camera and for compressed air, uh, ultrasonic leak detectors, uh, for data loggers, uh, uh, different types of data loggers, as we see here, uh, according to what type of uh, these will be available. Instrument will depend on what the scope and nature of working inside the facility. Uh, that we uh, plan to uh, site, uh, make site visit for it. And also, uh, we must check the accuracy of the existing uh, permanent instrument uh, that used for electrical system, temperature measurement, combustion system, steam system, uh, heating, ventilating, air conditioning system. For electrical system, as we see, we need multimeter, voltmeter, ammeter, voltmeter, and so on. Temperature measurements need surface barometer, portable electronic uh, thermometer, thermometer probe, and so on. Infrared thermometer or infrared camera. And here, uh, as we see, for combustion systems, uh, we must need combustion analyzer and for system uh, steam systems we need ultrasonic leak detectors steam trap testers and for uh, ventilation or conditioning system uh, we need manometer or a piece of chromatic uh, uh, or anemometer and so on this is the end of this uh, lecture and these the references and at the end of this lecture I will say thank you for your listening and wait me in the second lecture of energy editing and goodbye.